Hey everyone, Hunter Elmore here, your design consultant with Gravity Sketch. And today we're going to be going through a quick tutorial on how to get into a sketch and build something like headphones through the lens of a beginner. We've jumped into a new sketch, and we're going to start with making sure we have the correct drawing hand. If you're right-handed, it'll be right-handed by default. If you're left-handed, you're going to go ahead and click on this blue button, go up here to settings, and then you'll notice this pops up with initially sketching aids. This is our first menu but we're gonna go up here to preferences and turn this little toggle from right to left. That'll switch which hand we're on. I'm right-handed, so I'll leave it on the right side. If you're left-handed, go ahead and switch that over. You can also do this by tapping the bottoms of your controllers together. And when you do that, it will automatically switch which is your dominant hand within the application. Let's get started making this room a little bit less empty. Above your drawing hand, you'll see a small dot. By clicking with your index trigger on your drawing hand and holding, you're able to pull this stroke through the space and create geometry. This is the ink tool and it's enabled by default. To move ourselves throughout the room, we can use these side triggers on our controller. By holding both down and moving our controllers relative to one another, we can both scale and move ourselves through the room. If we only use that non-drawing hand side trigger, hold that down, we can pivot and clutch ourselves through. It's important to note that the scale you're seeing is your user scale, not the actual object scale. By hovering this gray sphere over an active object in the room, it'll turn red and we can select it and grab it. Holding that side trigger will move it through space, and while we're holding it, we can click this blue button on our non-drawing hand to enter edit mode. Once we're in edit mode, we can see all the vertices that we created when we initially made this piece of geometry. We can grab those vertices and pull them around through the space to edit that line, or we can hit undo if we don't like what we just did by pressing that red button on our controller. If there's too many points, we can hit simplify points to simplify that geometry down and reduce the number of vertices influencing the shape. We can hit that again to simplify even further, but if we go too far, we can always hit that red undo button to move backwards in time. Once we're done, we'll hit that blue check mark button on our non-drawing hand to exit edit mode. By default, our room is kind of empty and gray. We can enter back into our menu and open this tab up here at the top called Workspace to look at some different options that we have for the environment. Our presets are the gumdrop, the gray room, the warehouse, and of course, the studio space. We also have a few options down here under custom where you can change your presets and customize some environments for your specific needs. For now, let's stick with gray room because that's what you're going to have by default. If I want to change the color of an actual object in my sketch, I can change my creation color by hovering over this color wheel on my non-drawing hand. By moving that eyedropper through the 3D palette, I can choose specific colors. I can also grab an existing object with that side trigger in my selection sphere, and I'll see the color wheel pop up as the lower button on my drawing hand. Then I can use that same interface and same method to pick specific colors, material presets, or even transparency using the slider below. I highly recommend playing around with some of these settings, especially the material presets over here on the right. We have things like gloss, clay, flat, tune, reflective, and basic shaders that can bring your sketch to life pretty quickly. If for some reason I want to delete an object, I can grab it with that selection sphere and side trigger and press this red button on the top of my drawing hand. That will delete any object that I am currently holding. Thanks for joining and walking through some first steps. Next time, we'll be looking at how to set up a room through world access, lighting, and some additional creation tools.